There are many ancient areas which we often cover, which you, the viewer, will clearly realize is of a controversial nature, especially regarding dates, in which we claim are actively being denied and concealed by powerful and wealthy academic institutions. Many ancient relics within, and the fact that these, what we claim are lost antiquities, are often dated by us merely through logical processes of deduction, are therein dated far before the officially guarded modern development of man, or the path thereof. My work is actively denied, and regardless of the mountain, and still mounting volumes of evidence we present, still denied as having ever existed. Funding refused en masse in regards to any consideration whatsoever possible officially. Thus any claim in any form of a highly advanced civilization except our own ever occurring here on Earth before will always be denied. Civilizations so old, their ruins now easily dismissed by geologists the world over as natural formations. However, thanks to the fact that nature rarely builds walls and courses, or create enormous megalithic walls of equal sizes built in techniques akin to the modern house brick, yet with bricks often many hundreds, sometimes thousands of tons in weight, and all once seemingly effortlessly placed atop one another. And thanks to these clear factual elements, which can allow us to identify the artificial nature of many formations claimed as geological, this evidence thankfully still being visible upon these so-called geological formations. Features which enable all with critical capacities to distinguish that of a ruin academically suppressed by being systematically dismissed as geological. Kaimanawa Wall, near Lake Taupo, New Zealand, is but one example of this massive dismissal of ancient antiquity, reluctantly explored by mainstream academia in the late 90s. However, an individual by the name of Barry Brailsfords also published an article in the New Zealand Listener, which stated, as we do, that the wall is not geological, and for a brief moment created a public exposure of mainstream archaeology and historical institutions' active refusal of the obvious in favor of the already concluded. Barry Brailsford's valiant journalism considers the possibility of a lost civilization, like one mentioned earlier and although, in his opinion, is located within permitted history, and our claim is of one far older, pre-Ice Age in fact, he still, regardless, pinned its creation on the correct parties. Titled Megalith Mystery, are giant stones in the Kaimanawa Forest Park evidence of an ancient New Zealand culture? According to Brailsford's article, the stone wall is at least 2,000 years old and was created by the first settlers of New Zealand, the Waitaha. Furthermore, Brailsford also pertained to the wall being a link between New Zealand, Egypt, and South America. We feel his article is a very well-presented investigation into what is clearly an ancient ruin of artificial origin. However, we attest to the wall being a relic of a once far more advanced and much older, now lost civilization. Brailsford listed 12 pieces of evidence for its construction. For example, the fact that the visible stones in the front are a uniform 1.9 meters wide by 1.6 meters tall and 1 meter wide deep. However, politically, the view that civilizations existed in New Zealand before the Maori culture, the currently protected paradigm, is never going to be accepted. The conclusion made by the commission funded geologists, it that the formation is merely an outcrop of a large ignimbrite, a natural formation created about 330,000 years ago. They claim the uniform shapes were produced by conveniently identical fractures in the rock. The official line is that the Kaimanawa wall has been proclaimed a natural rock formation. And we know better than many that this tale of events is very unlikely to change in the future. Yet, regardless of this, we find the Kaimanawa wall highly compelling.